Hey guys, welcome back to Insomniac Extreme. Long time no see in regards to a new makeup look, but you guys voted on Twitter, so a new makeup look it is. I've been in a bit of a slump lately and needed something purely creative, so I was inspired by a bath bomb, oddly enough. Hence the weird title. More proof, really, that you can just get inspired by anything. But hopefully you guys enjoy this look. If you want to see how it's done, just keep watching. And if you do enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button and join our little family. But let's just jump into it. So the first thing I did was prime my face, and I tried out the Pop Beauty Magnet Face Primer for the first time, and worked pretty well. Following that, I based out my face, neck, and chest with the Makeup Forever Color White. This is just a cream white that I applied with a wet sponge to try and create as smooth and even of a finish as I could. And once it was all applied, I just went over with a setting powder to get rid of any tackiness and shine and make it so shadows will blend easier on top of it. The eyes I based out with the Milk Jumbo Pencil from NYX and then started going in with some really crazy bright colors to build up the colorful eye look I was going for. I started with the Electro Cute Pigment, which is a neon yellow from Sugar Pill. And then followed that with their press shadows in Butter Cupcake and Flame Point just to start deepening the outer corners and adding more definition to the eyes. Any areas where I wanted a really light orange as opposed to the really deep vibrant color of Flame Point, I just made sure to kind of mix with the yellow and blend into the really bright colors I'd already laid down. Following that, I jumped into the pinks. One was a neon pigment and the other is just a pressed shadow. The pigment I started with since it blended out really soft and easily as well gave a little bit of shimmer around the eyes, which I was not at all opposed to. And then any areas where I wanted to be a darker pink, I went in with the pressed shadow. To line my eyes, I used three liquid liners and started with the lightest blue on the inside and used the purple to create a winged line. And then I used the cobalt blue color to create circles along the purple to reference the bubbling effect you would get from a bath bomb. And also followed afterwards with the light blue and white liner to highlight my makeshift bubbles and add some dotting details. When you are happy with your eye look, you can move on to lashes, which I just quickly applied a bunch of mascara and some false lashes to make them stand out a little bit. And then I moved on to the rest of the face. As with a lot of my looks, I like to try and incorporate the crazy colors on my eyes into the rest of the face definition. So I started with the exact same steps of colors, going in with the neon yellow pigment first, detailing with the darker yellow and into the oranges, and then using a little bit of pink on the edges as well. This color would be like the craziest highlight to rock on a daily basis, but I was kind of really feeling it. To start bringing in more of the blues and purples of the actual bath bomb I was inspired by, I decided to use it to help with contouring and defining my face. So taking a blue teal colored pigment, I started applying this in areas where you would probably apply either your contour or bronzer. Minus your ears, of course, but I wanted to carry the color outwards and then jump back to adding more definition with the oranges and pinks. And then once done with the face for now, I moved on to my neck and chest. And to start this off, I was using a cream eyeshadow from NYX in a blue tone periwinkle color. I was looking at a picture of a bath bomb in water for this, so I wanted to try and create that effect of it spreading out on the water surface. So using a lot of the same colors I'd already used on my face, I started laying down the idea of where bubbles would sit and blending the colors together. I also made sure to add in those purple lavender shades as well as all the yellows and pinks that go on the outer edge when this tends to start diffusing in the water. Blending these colors actually made me think of my galaxy makeup quite a bit because it reminded me of trying to create that idea of smoky wispy clouds with the shadows and just having them blend and fuse into each other to create these really nice colors. You can see in areas where I maybe found it was getting a little bit too muddy, I would go back in with the white cream that I based out my face and chest with, as well as use some water-activated white paint to better define the bubbles. This is definitely a look where there is no right or wrong way to do it, it's just a lot of building up of colors, but do be aware of dripping white paint that you may not notice until it has started spreading across your design. Yes, this did happen more than once. But with a little damage control, you can see I was in dotting heaven and just kept building up the different bubble shapes that I wanted and then took a quick break to give Alice some attention that she was in dire need of. Sorry, couldn't resist. 
but jumping back to the makeup I went ahead and started building up more colors I started adding a little bit of detailing to some of the bubbles as well as filled in the rest of the left side of my body with more colors that would be on the blue and purple tones and extended where this splash of color would actually be extending out from its origin point then a nice cheat to get really good bubble outlines is to take the caps of different products that you may have and dip them into the white cream paint that we based our face out in this will give you that outline of bright white, but the inside will stay kind of clear and this allows you to better detail them. And these, of course, you can lay down in any random order that you like or enjoy. And then once you have them, I did just want to bump the contrast a little bit around them. So I was adding darker blues and darker teal tones around bubbles that were on my chest just so that they'd actually pop out a little bit more and not be so flat looking. And then to really define the bubbles, I went ahead and individually filled them in with more of the lavender, blue, and white cream paints, just kind of making them blend all together. And then using the white water activated face paint, I did this to add the shine to each bubble as if it would have a reflect on it, as well as outline them again to make sure that they really stood out. And then do this to all of the big and medium sized bubbles and know that there is no limits and there is no such thing as too many bubbles. So just keep building. And then for lips, I kept it super simple. I just applied a nude lipstick. This one is from Buxom. As I wanted the colors to just stand out on their own, but you of course could add any color lipstick that you were feeling. And then for my eyebrows, I just lightly filled them in with a bit of purple and teal eyeshadows. And then that is it. That is it for my intergalactic bath bomb inspired look. Not sponsored, but lush. If you ever want to sponsor me, i totally be down. Either way, this was a really great way to kind of get out of my slump and just get back into something really creative and out of the box and weird in regards to inspiration. So I do hope you guys really enjoyed this one and maybe got some ideas on color blending or how to look like a bath. I don't know. If you did enjoy this or even didn't enjoy it, I would love to hear your opinion in the comments down below. If you want to join our little team dream family, you can of course hit that subscribe button or give a little thumbs up to show me that you enjoyed it. But either way, thank you for just tuning in and watching this one all the way till the end. Thank you so much as always for watching. I of course will see you next video and until then, bye guys.